Hey shrimp lovers, welcome back to my channel, Canada Shrimps, your home for everything freshwater shrimp, breeding, and rare genetics. Today we're diving into one of the most exciting developments in the shrimp hobby, Orange Eye Neocaridina. These striking shrimp are captivating breeders worldwide, and we're here to bring you the most in-depth look yet. A huge thank you to Michael Hessler, the breeder behind many of the lines we'll be showcasing today. Michael generously provided footage and insights that make this video possible. We'll explore the origin, genetics, challenges, and future of orange eye shrimp, and highlight the amazing work being done by Shrimpify.eu, the first online shop to specialize in these incredible shrimp. Orange Eye Neocaridina, or OE for short, are a subgroup of dwarf freshwater shrimp that possess a stunning orange iris. Unlike many color traits that affect the body, OE is all about the eyes. And yes, that small detail makes a huge visual difference, especially when paired with bold body coloration. In contrast to tiger OE caridina shrimp, which typically have orange eyes without a central black spot, Neocaridina OE are distinct, clear orange, vibrant, and genetically unique. The trait is rare, recessive, and not naturally found in most standard Neocaridina lines. Our journey starts with Swiss breeder Michael Hazler. In 2020, he discovered a single Blue Dream Neocaridina with striking orange eyes. Rather than dismissing it as a fluke, he leaned into the mystery and started his own breeding program. He said, When I found the first Neocaridina with orange eyes, I recognized this innovative characteristic and set myself the goal of crossing the orange eyes into all color varieties. Over the next few years, Michael developed a number of stable OE lines, most notably the award-winning Green Demon line, which took top honors at major shrimp contests across Europe. The Green Demon OE line began as a challenge. Michael describes starting with offspring that unexpectedly showed blue and black shades. After months of culling and selection, he discovered one small male shrimp with the desired green color and orange eyes. He crossed it back to green jade and eventually stabilized the line. He said, after several months, I found one single green demon animal of a three to five millimeter size. To my luck, it turned out to be a male and it survived. I crossed it back onto regular green jade and I could successfully stabilize that line. Over the years, and even now, we are finally starting to get his orange eye neos in North America. Let's take a closer look at how orange eyes are inherited. In genetics, a recessive trait means that both parents must carry and pass on the gene for it to be visible in their offspring. This is known as Mendelian inheritance, and it applies perfectly to orange eyes in Neocaridina shrimp. According to Michael Hasler, this trait behaves predictably. Breeding two shrimp that both display orange eyes will result in offspring that are 100% orange-eyed. If you pair an orange-eyed shrimp with one that looks normal, their offspring will all carry the gene, but won't show the trait themselves. When two of these carriers are bred together, around 25% of the next generation will visually show orange eyes. Cross a carrier back to an orange-eyed shrimp, and about half of the offspring will have the visible orange eyes. Establishing your own orange-eyed line isn't a quick win. It requires patience, consistent tracking across generations, and a careful eye for both eye color and body traits. That means stabilizing a line requires tracking at least two generations, and that's if you're lucky. Here are some of the most recognized OE lines today. Bloody Mary Orange Eyes. These stunners have a nice contrast between their deep reds and bright orange eyes. Second, we have the black rose orange eyes. The dark bodies and bright eyes make these look creepy yet cool. Thirdly, we have the orange-eyed Sakura. 
Because this one is already orange, the contrast is not as nice and my least favorite in my personal opinion. Fourth up, we got the black sapphire orange eyes. These ones look like they have a hint of bluish green. Fifth up, we have wild orange eyes. Even though they are not as colorful as other shrimps, they're still quite unique. Sixth, we have the blue dream orange eyes. Truly another stunner. Seventh up, we got the blue sapphire orange eyes. Surprisingly, this one is quite nice too. Just a beautiful shrimp. Eighth up, we got the blue jelly orange eyes. No surprise here. Another fantastic looking shrimp. Ninth up, we can see a dark green jade orange eyes, followed by the green demon, another one of my favorites. Breeding OE shrimp isn't easy. Hassler notes that while the eye trait is fairly stable once established, getting the body coloration to match takes years. Quote, All offspring have 100% identical orange eyes, but stabilizing the body coloration is the priority. Add to that the risks of inbreeding, line degradation, and the need to track every generation, and you have a task that's not for the faint of heart. From a single shrimp spotted in a tank to an international breeding movement, the rise of orange eye neocaridina is a story of curiosity, patience, and passion. Whether you're breeding your first line or just admiring from afar, there's no doubt that OE shrimp have made a lasting impact on the hobby. Please give a huge thank you to Michael Hazler and the team at Shrimpify.eu for leading the way and sharing their knowledge with the community. Make sure to follow Michael on Instagram at ashrimpify.eu and visit shrimpify.eu to see all the beautiful OE lines available and in development. If you enjoyed this deep dive, give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and share this video with your favorite shrimp nerd. And let us know in the comments, which OE line would you love to breed next? Thanks for watching. And as always, keep your tanks clean and your shrimp colorful.